Hey guys, it's Bryce at Richson's RV. Today I'm in Colton giving you guys a quick tour of a brand new 2022 Highland Ridge 376 FBH. Let's take a look. All right, up front, how you can distinguish an open range from a Mesa Ridge is obviously the front cap colors and just, it says open range on the front. On the Mesa Ridge, it's just gonna have a couple mountains on it. Um, but they're pretty much the same thing, just different colors, kind of like Chevy and GMC. Um, they've started adding the Furion side camera and rear view camera prep. So all you have to do is take this cap off and plug it in. Um, you can buy it through us or through Amazon or wherever you may like. Uh, you got three propane tanks on these guys. Two of them are connected. The one on the other side is not. It's just a spare. But you can pull this guy out if you need to change your tanks out and swap. Pretty cool. I haven't seen another brand do that in quite a while. This does have electric uh, auto leveling. So what that means is it's not gonna use any hydraulic fluid or anything like that. It's just gonna lift the coach up by sheer electricity. Um, you're up front, we'll have the uh, JT Strong Arms. My parents have that on their fifth wheel and they absolutely love it. Um, they got rid of their pin box holder for it. And this does have a, a designated space in the cargo area up in the front uh, for two batteries. Uh, so all you have to do is just drop them in, call it a day. No need for an exterior battery box. Up here, you got enough space so you can put a small uh, generator, a little handheld. Um, if you really wanted to. And then on that side, here's your extra spare propane tank because this does have 60 pounds of propane. And there's your third one. It's not tapped in, like I said, but just change it out whenever you need it. If you need it. Over here, you got your battery disconnect and your leveling system all right here. Decent pass-through storage. But that's not all the storage that this guy has, as you saw from the front reel. Let's take a look on this side. So since this coach is a little bit taller up or higher up, um, you will have four solid steps going into the coach versus two or three, like some brands. You do have the Four Seasons package on this guy, so you can take it in the winter, summer, fall, spring, and still be comfortable in this coach. Um, all keyed alike, so you're no longer gonna be carrying 17,000 keys like I do. Um, you're just gonna be carrying two, which is pretty sweet. Um, and that'll access all your compartments, pretty much. All one key. Um, back here, we're gonna show you the Taj Mahal of all storages. So you don't, don't only have one section to grab it through, you have four. Pretty awesome. You could put a barbecue or whatever else you guys bring with you. I probably put a, one of my bikes. Or fishing poles if you like to fish. Pretty sweet. Um, you don't want to put more than a thousand pounds back here just because of the designated sign. Um, because if you put too much weight, it's not going to tow correctly. You do get a ladder up on the roof. This is a, a walkable roof, but you don't really want to party up there because you don't want to fall. <laughs> 50 amp service on this guy. Um, you do have two separate uh, dump stations on this one. You have your gray and black back here, and you have uh, uh, another 
set of gray and black back there. Reason being, you have one bathroom up here, one bathroom up there. Um, it's not a full bath, it's a half bath up there, but still want it, and that one's tied in with the kitchen. All right, let's take a look at the inside. So this one we have optioned out with a giant U-shaped lounge where this one will have two dinette tables, kind of, if you want to call it two dinettes, right here. And whenever you don't need it, this does lift up on both sides so you can store the tables and poles away. And this middle section does pull out to a giant sofa uh, sleeper. So you can turn this into a giant uh, bed if you have a ton of kids or grandkids or full blown adults camping with you. Um, which is a pretty nice option. So if someone wants to eat, they can, and then hang out right here and lounge on the chase lounges and not have to be in the way of eating. Um, you got four upper cabinets above the couch. You have another four above the TV and then three above, actually, I'd probably say this is two and a half on this side. Just because you have your max air vent fans, your light switches, and then your touch panel. You can control your BM Pro system through the app if you download it. And by doing the app, you can turn everything from your phone on. You can pretty much access anything. Your uh, battery power and everything like that, your tanks, uh, turn your heater on, all that good stuff, uh, motors, lights, AC, everything, awnings, all from the control of your phone. Um, solid surface countertop over here, over there, and right there. Um, I've seen people just use this as a little decoration space or make this a coffee bar. That'd be pretty sweet. Full size oven. Now in these guys, it's a four burner instead of a three. And you can actually put a turkey in there if you really wanted to, or beef or whatever else. Probably put a decent sized Dutch oven in there. You got one drawer right here. You got another one on this side. You got three down here. Actually, that's a soap. And of course your trash can. I wish a lot of other manufacturers did this. It's a nice option. But you never know where to put the trash can at. You got your large gas electric refrigerator right here. This does have a whisper quiet AC in here. Um, so what that means, it's not gonna be just a traditional dump. It's gonna be a little bit more quiet like your house. So you can actually talk like we are right now um, without having to yell. New pendant lighting, I like that too. Just seems more sturdy. Up front, so you have two forms of heating uh, in this coach. You can use your furnace or you can turn on your uh, your fireplace. This does heat, put some heat out so this will get warm in here. Um, I probably use it till about 50 degrees outside and then I'm gonna want the furnace. Uh, Bluetooth Fury on speaker, which is tied into your Insignia TV, which is also tied into your inside uh, speakers and your outside speakers. So if you want to play something in here, listen outside while you're barbecuing, keeping up with the game or something, makes it easy and simple. Um, these coaches do come with day and night shades, which is sweet. Um, here's your day shade and then your full on blackout shade. So if you are camping at the river and you want to have a good view, but it is a little hot, you can pull your day shade and it's going to block most of your heat. But if you want to block out a lot of your heat, pull the blackout shade or just keep it dark. Um, this does have the WineGuard Air 360 Plus system. So it's pretty much like your own Wi-Fi router. All you have to do is just download the WineGuard app. Now let's see, I'll pull mine up. WineGuard. Where, where's my connect? Connect. One yard connect. And all you have to do is just download it and then connect to your router. You can choose any service provider that you like that has a mobile hotspot. Plug in your, uh, what's the thing called? A SIM card in there and activate it through there. And you just have to go to the website to turn on and off all that good stuff, not through the app. If you're gonna use the app, you have to pay for the WineGuard 
which is $59 for 10 gigabytes for 30 days, or if you use it, use that 10 gigabytes up, it'll reset. All right, let's check out the front. So this is actually a pretty cool floor plan. Um, if you were to be staying in this full time or gonna be working from here, I would probably rip that couch out, put a little desk, keep this the couch. Uh, reason being, you got a little mini fridge in here, so you keep yourself entertained. And you got a half bath up there with a porcelain toilet. Like that. You got tons of storage up in here on both sides. You got three drawers. You got a little cubby, maybe for even an Xbox or a PlayStation. And this TV does lift up for extra storage. And of course, while you are traveling, you want to latch that down so it doesn't fly open and hit the slide outs. Um, these do turn into a bed and it will come up to about right here. Um, won't touch all the way just so you can shimmy out of bed if you really needed to. You do have a max air vent fan in here so if it does get hot um, just turn that guy on and it'll run away. Not run away, blow away. Alright, let's check out the bedroom. Alright, so this coach does have a slide out in the bedroom um, which is standing right behind me or not standing, which is right behind me. Uh, you do have a couple drawers on that side. Let's check out this side too. On this side, you have a full uh, coat hanger. All right, so this one has the non-traditional uh, hanger system where it has a pole. It has little hooks, so it's not gonna be flinging around all over the place. Um, you do have a mirror for your bedroom, so you get right in front of it. Under storage, underneath, which is awesome. Tons of space. Under your queen bed, you got a little drawer right here. So you can put your phone chargers or anything else you guys bring camping with you. Tons of overhead cabinets. Um, this does have a whisper quiet and AC in the bedroom. Um, so you're not gonna be screaming over each other while you guys are watching TV if you do put one in here. Um, Cause you do have hookups right there. Last but not least is the master bathroom. Um, this one does have a washer dryer hookup. It's going to be an all-in-one combo, and it's actually located underneath here. How they do it, I am not too sure, but if there's a will, there's a way. And then you have your nice vanity right here, just designated for your sink. Get ready right here. Two medicine cabinets, pretty much. Or if you want to make this one your linen closet, or not linen, towel. Porcelain toilet, of course, followed with the giant... Uh, shower that you can actually sit in and that's going to wrap up our tour on the 2022 376 fbh open range if you guys do have any questions you can call me at 951-452-0202 you can email me at d dixon d-i-x-s-o-n at richardsonsrv.com or you can find me at instagram on uh, real estate bryce one i appreciate you guys thank you